Hello everyone and welcome back to another Wizard 101 video. Yesterday, I live streamed obviously instead of actually uploading a video because, you know, I missed my kind of deadline. Today I'm probably gonna miss it as well, but that's okay. And basically I live streamed and I live streamed myself detritus farming. Now, while I was detritus farming, obviously I had the classic experiences with farming for gear and farming for things which is generally bad ones. So today I figured why not make a video on my tips and tricks and my guide to how to have a good experience farming, whether it be because you don't know what you're doing or because you do know what you're doing and your teammates generally aren't helpful. I wanted to kind of go over that, go over my tips and tricks because I do have some and obviously uh, some of them are gonna be more useful to some people than others, but I think everything I say in this video is super important to know. So without further ado, let's get into it my ultimate guide to kind of farming in wizard 101 the first thing i want to talk about here is preparation being prepared to fight a boss in wizard 101 and understanding the boss now the reason why i bring this up is because people somehow still don't understand how this works and still don't know to look up bosses and their cheats before a fight despite this game being out for years and it's really frustrating sometimes when people mess up a cheat or don't do something right when it's super avoidable literally it takes 10 seconds to look up a boss and look up their cheats. I'm not kidding. I could type King Detritus Wizard 101 into Google right now and get his lit full list of cheats and know exactly what to do in the boss fight. And for some reason, people still don't look this up. And it's super annoying when people don't know the cheats. And I don't know why, but this tends to happen extremely frequently where people will run into a fight not knowing what the cheats are, mess it up for everyone, and then we either need to restart or realistically the entire fight is just kind of thrown off by it. Now, what I really want to stress in this section is please, when you look up a boss and you find out their cheats, know how to counter them and know the proper methods of countering them. It's one thing to know like no traps for a boss and then it's another thing to actually put that into effect. Please be just be a little bit smart and know how to properly go against a boss. In this day and age, at this point in the game, 2022, there is no excuse if you're not looking up what a boss's cheats are before going into a boss or not understanding a boss because there are so many guides out there. Beyond just looking up the cheats, there's so many guides on how to fight a boss fast. If you don't know how to fight the final Lemuria boss at this point, like Ferex had a guide on it for two months now. And by this point, it should be decently common knowledge if you're going to farm it, or at the very least, it should be common knowledge to look up a guide before going to farm it. And this is one thing that really bothers me in a lot of boss fights is when people don't understand what they're doing when it's just such an easy fix. But that's the first section. That's just like in passing what I wanted to talk about because I a lot of people don't do this despite the fact it's super easy. It just really bothers me. But next section I want to talk about and want to get into is deck setup and being properly prepared because it's one thing to know the cheats of a boss and to actually understand the boss and then to actually counter that. So the first thing I want to talk about is decks and deck setup. One thing I would definitely recommend is having multiple decks. This is especially important in dungeons that have multiple parts. For example, Detritus. How Detritus works is it has two mob fights and then finally Detritus. For literally everyone, how you want to do it is you want to have an attack deck for the first two, just a small deck with a few 4 pip AoEs in it, and then finally either have a support deck or a boss deck for Detritus. If you're hitting a boss deck, if you're supporting, a support deck obviously i would recommend personally just having all three just in case you need to hit but it's super useful to have things like this and to fill them up with the proper spells because just being able to switch decks really fast is super useful rather than having to spend you know 10 20 seconds adjusting your deck accordingly and another thing i want to talk about is to know what spells to pack in your deck because this is something that is super super common is people not knowing what spells to pack in their deck not just the proper spells but the proper amount of spells first off if there is a mob fight in this game like in detritus please pack a four pip aoe i don't care if you were a balance school or if you were an ice school please pack a four pip aoe 
because it does more damage if you use it than if you blade someone. For some reason, I don't think people realize this, but having 100 damage in this game with a 4 5th AoE does 2k damage flat, and a lot of people have more than 100 damage by this point, and adding that plus 30% isn't nearly as effective as adding your own damage to the damage pool. This is something that, for some reason, I feel like a lot of balances misunderstand. Just please pack Sandstorm. It's such an easy fix that people don't really get. And then finally, if you're a hitter in a boss fight, please do not pack one single hit. This is something I see storms doing so often, and it's not just storms, it's fires as well. I see it happen so often. Please pack multiple hits because they, if you hit, and you fail to kill, well, that entire run's dead. We now need to restart. And this is something that's so frustrating that happens so many times, and it's such an easy fix. Like, as a storm, all you need to do is pack another Tempest, or as a fire, say, pack a Meteor Strike. And it's so easy, but people still mess it up constantly. And it's really frustrating having to restart the fight and at times restart the entire dungeon. Finally, in this section, what I want to talk about is knowing your role and knowing what to do. Now, obviously, I've said in the past, I don't think school identity is set in stone. And I think that this is something that's super important to know. School identity isn't simply firestorm hit, but it is important to know when it's relevant. And in when you're farming, it's very, very important to know what role you fit into and to acclimate around that. For example, as a myth, my main goal for detritus and the actual boss fight should be support, and this is true in a lot of cases. Beyond that, a reason why I wouldn't be the actual hitter is that detritus resists myth. It's super important to know the stats and the strategy for fighting certain bosses and acclimate around that, because a lot of people don't seem to really understand what role to fit into and that really does hurt things in the long run but that's the main things i want to talk about in the start of this video because these are like the most common bare bones things to know about this game which is to know how to fight a boss now i i know that it seemed redundant and it might seem redundant for some of you that doesn't mean it wasn't important to say so I hope that uh, you can forgive me for that. Let's get into the main parts of this video that I wanted to go over for farming. First off, and this is huge, be a team player. Now, this is something that people still underestimate and underestimate at any level. Now, I'm not simply talking about things like not being toxic. That is something that I think is super important. Do not be toxic in this game to random people for no reason. It's really not a good look on you, and it just makes everyone around you look at you with, like, disdain. And I look at people who are toxic as stupid people. If you're one of those people, you're stupid. Stop doing it. Having good team spirit and being positive is so much more effective than you'd think and it's it's simply just how people perform or how people think like no matter what if i have a toxic teammate it's going to be so much worse of an experience even if they're carrying me through the level it's so much worse of an experience than if i have positive teammates even if the teammates are bad and this is something people really underestimate and it's really frustrating for a lot of people, especially in farming instances like Darkmoor. Please don't be toxic in Darkmoor. It makes people not want to farm, and it's just blatantly rude and annoying, and it just really shows that you're either childish or you're just a dick. The second thing I want to talk about is calming. Now, what I mean by this is calling out what spells you're using and being generally helpful to the people around you. There are some people who are completely silent in farming runs, which is never the way to go. And it's especially annoying in, say, Detritus, when you need to figure certain things out, like who's going to hit. If I'm asking who's hitting and then no one responds, I'm like, what the heck? Obviously, this doesn't apply for every case, but if there's three storms, I'm asking who's hitting, no one responds, I'm like, what the heck? And most people probably are because you're confused use you're like who's hitting who is supporting the hitter what's happening and it's it's just really frustrating on top of this calling out stuff like different feints and calling out stuff like different blades super useful because using the same faint or the same blade is a complete waste of time and a waste of a round and it's something i see so frequently people don't comment and it just ruins an entire run and it's so easy to come is the funny thing it's such an easy thing to do like going you know reg faint or reg reg potent faint boot 
all those things super easy and people don't do them enough. It's just, it's really frustrating and something I wanted to mention in this video. All right, now we're getting into the good stuff. The stuff I wanted to talk about this video, which is my movement tech, because this is something that I think people severely underestimate in farming and farming dungeons that can save so much time. So the biggest thing, and this is the thing that I wanna stress so much, is that the escape quit feature is your best friend, and it will be in a lot of cases. For example, detritus runs. I see a lot of people either using the gate and going back to Unicorn Way, teleporting to the commons, or teleporting to a mark. Well, guess what? You wanna know something cool? I'm gonna show you something amazing that's gonna blow your mind. When you're done with detritus, you get the drops, escape quit, press play, boom, you're back at the beginning. This is something so many people still don't know that astounds me. It's such an easy and amazing movement tech. You still get full drops, still get quest credit, and it saves so much time, so much mana, which is something I find really fun and really, and really helpful in a lot of cases. Another thing that this is useful for is in, say, a Morganth fight. When you finish the Morganth fight, it has that long cutscene. Well, if you just escape quit, it skips the entire cutscene and you'd press play again and be outside and go immediately into your next run. Now, obviously there are certain things this doesn't work for, like this doesn't work for the end of Darkmoor. And if you're looking for the second chance chest in a lot of cases, this won't work and this won't be useful to you. But in a lot of cases like farming detritus runs, this is super useful and saves me like 30 seconds plus of time between each run. And that's valuable, valuable seconds that a lot of people don't understand and don't know how to make use on. The final thing I want to talk about here, and this may seem obvious, but is something that was ju that's just so, so helpful, is have a distraction while farming. In my opinion, there is almost nothing more dull in this game than just farming without any form of distraction, like just doing the same thing over and over again. What I found, and something that's super useful, is just throw on a TV show, throw on a movie, just throw on something in the background that you can watch. Now, this doesn't even need to be a second monitor. I actually did this a lot as a kid before I got a second monitor that's super useful, is put it on a slightly lower resolution and put it off of full screen. And then at the like top left of your screen, I'll do this with the camera, at the top left of your screen, have the game and the bottom right have the video. And that's if you're watching the video. If you're doing something like a podcast or something like that, you don't even need to technically watch it. You can just put it on in the background. And it's just so nice. It's so pleasant not having to focus purely on farming. While playing Wizard 101, I've probably watched more movies and TV shows in the last two months than I have in my entire life. And I'm not even kidding with that. It makes the game go so much smoother and feel so much more cathartic because it's just like, you don't need to pay attention to the very slow stuff that's happening in Wiz. You can just focus on something else. But that's really it for today. That's this video, which is my tips and tricks on farming. Now I know some stuff may seem obvious, like knowing what to do and deck setup, that may seem obvious, but you won't believe how many people don't understand the proper deck setup or how to properly go against an enemy. And it's really, really frustrating. Obviously some other stuff was just like fun little tips and tricks. I hope someone found it helpful, but I think overall, this is just what I think people need to know when farming. But let me know in the comments, did I miss something? Is there something that you think is important when it comes to farming that I didn't mention here? I'm excited to know your opinion, but really that's it. Thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next video. Adios.